So what I need to do next is start dealing with some of the imagery, well, a lot of imagery on the site. And while I have the imagery, I'm not going to necessarily worry about it now in the sense of um, I'm just sort of lumping together concerns. I, I want to take care of, well, I, I guess to say because imagery is so dominant on this site. I just want to make sure that I take care of the layout first, get that out of the way, and then start importing the image as a whole separate concern. So there is a, a great service called placehold.it. And uh, here's the URL. What's great about it is that it gives you this link where you could define an image of any dimension. It's got some cool um, actual options as well as color and format and when you hover over the other cool stuff you could do over here it tells you more. Um, I just like it because it helps me rapidly prototype stuff. So how would I use this? So here's a great link of an image that's going to be 350 by 150. Now the image that I have here I set to be uh, 1366 by 768. That's the image that I had. It works. Now, you know, conceptually when you think, you see, because when I have over here, I do have a maximum, but this guy is always full screen. Um, you really have to... If you had the option, sometimes you're just going to be given the images and you work with what you got. Other times you could define it right from the start. There's always a fight. What's the best image size resolution? What's the most popular screen size and all that thing? But the way things are going, um, as far as development goes, it's going to be very difficult, if not impossible, to have any standard screen sizes. You know, we're going to have everything from a watch that could be 200 pixel by 200 pixel, which may not necessarily be appropriate for obviously something like this, um, up to a television that's going to broadcast this and do its own rendering. Uh, essentially, the, the best way to tell what resolutions you should use is by looking at your Google Analytics and seeing who your customer base is or who your, your visitors are, what their most common settings are what's trending and design appropriately that's that's how you do it now uh, I'm giving you a file that's 1366 by 768 which is a very popular desktop size as the maximum but again this thing does do responsive so we know it'll fit and uh, my screen is significantly wider than 1366 because it's a I'm, I'm on a Mac retina display uh, so when I open it it does sort of pixelate a little bit not everything actually here's a good one that I had that is still 1366 and when it gets wider it's still pretty crisp but it's it's an it works it works um, you could play around with files more if you want to, but anyway, uh, I don't want to digress on that point too much. Let's pop some images in. So we know that our featured images are the big boys. And the featured images, although they're a slideshow, just so worth noting is that there's three of them. One, two, and three. So in the featured image section, right under section, I just copy and paste the code I found from placehold.it. We see image source placehold.it, and in order to adjust the size, we manipulate the, uh, the dimensions at the end. And uh, just to verify, it says 350 is going to be the width and 150 the height. So I'm going to set it up to 1366 by 768. And I want to do this three times. One, two, three. Um, and then we could see it in action just like so. So here's our image. You know, um, there's no separate separation over here. More than likely that's from normalize.css, which is the standardizing all those styles. Um, but that works. Now we can now go to the new releases. The new releases has, I believe, well, actually I don't want to get crazy over here because I'm going to need to re 
rename those. Um, then it has, let's see. Oh, those are 600 by 400. So I'll do 600 x 400. Uh, oh, and no, 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 no. Because uh, yes, yes, that's correct, right? 600's the... Oh, I goofed. Wait a second. It's because the posters are... This is the width, so these are 400 by 600. Ah, getting confused over here. So let's see. One, two, three, right? Because our posters are... Unless I totally botched that one up. Yeah, no, no, that's perfect, right? Because our posters are... 600 pixels tall by 400 okay and then in the other sections those guys are half that size so they're 200 by 300 and um, we end up having I believe about 24 of them per so one two three four times one two three four five and six yeah so um, let's go Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, and then bam, bam. And there you have it. I'll pop them all in there. And once I'm done with that, let's see what we got.